Previously, on AI Tag Team. Fall of Gibraltar, what the hell? What? Are we at war with the commenter now? What? Oh my god, when did that happen? So we're at war with the common turn now because the British, in all their wisdom, decided to puppet the Qing after the peace deal, who were still already at war with both the Japanese and the Soviets, and so they now have brought the rest of us into a war with the Soviets and us into a war with Spain as well. And while we were unprepared fighting the Germans, the Spanish made a good push up into France. However, we have them under control at this point, but we'd end up losing a lot more land than I would have hoped. Most importantly though, is that it forces us to draw our troops away from the German front, so now we have no way of being able to advance against the Germans. I guess because since Spain joined the common turn, they had the Soviets help train all their troops, hence why their KD ratio is absolute shit. And you can see the Germans actually made a strong push, they took back a lot of Italy and they pushed us out of Yugoslavia, which we had just recently taken back, because of our weakened defenses that were sent over to Spain, and really, Spain has no chance here. They're just delaying Germany's existence while sacrificing their own. All right, we've broken the Spaniards back, we've crossed the Pyrenees, and we are pouring into their country. Spanish never really had any business in this war. You almost feel bad for them, getting dragged along. Really all they wanted, I think, was just one province in Italy. All right, we've dealt with that distraction. So now it's back east to the trenches where we shall no doubt have a thrilling standoff with the Germans where no one does anything. And just like that, the Manchu Republic, which brought us into this war with the Comintern, is already dead, replaced by the CC click. I'm pretty sure that doesn't even exist. And now the Asians are simply left fighting each other just like they used to, with no change whatsoever. So I had the same plan I was going to use against Italy, where we land in the south next to the port. But I guess the Americans already beat me to it, so I guess I'll just delete that and go join them. We're now well established in Italy and our plan is to sweep up from the south like we're doing and then close them off in the north because we never truly lost all of Italy and so if we can do that we can get rid of a ton of German troops and that might be what finally breaks the stalemate in this dumbass war. So this one goes out to all of you who still say that I'm shit at Hearts of Iron 4. Look at that. A perfectly executed plan. After we got rid of a bunch of troops in Italy, the Germans actually had to pull away from their front line in the north. And so now we might actually be having a breakthrough in France, which would be excellent. Because if we can get the front line moving on two different areas, well, it's GG. All right, never mind. Nothing else matters anymore. Soviets are in the war. And even though they've had their own troubles in the Far East, well, there's no way the Germans can hold off an entire Soviet army in, on their eastern front. So I predict the war. It's not going to last very much longer. And so the Germans have pulled away about half of their troops to send them over to the east, which allowed us to make a massive breakthrough, and we are pouring into Germany and Yugoslavia and pretty much everywhere on the Western Front. And it only took them about four years, but finally the Soviets come to our aid. It sucks we're going to have to kill them later, though. Vienna is the last major stronghold of the German Reich, and as soon as it falls, and it's about to, the war is over. With the Axis at least. Because now we're going to have to haul ass over to the east and start fighting the Soviets. But first we at least get a peace deal, which that'll be fun. Let's see what we can take. I'm going to take some German land for Belgium. And again, the Netherlands kind of got left out of the peace deal, which sucks, but I mean, we'll try to get them some land after the common turn war. Because they certainly deserve it. I've done a lot of work as Netherlands, and they've lost a lot of troops, let me tell you. And most of that is my fault. And so now the Soviet war is in full swing. We're advancing in the north and in the south. But the Soviet Union, being as large as it is, and the amount of manpower the Soviets have left, this is not going to be any easier than the war against Germany. There has been an important development happening in the Balkans. We've managed to surround a large amount of Soviet troops. And much like with the Germans in Italy, this could help turn the tide of the war. And our allies, in fact the Greeks of all people, were kind enough to open another front in the Caucasus Mountains by invading through the Black Sea. Now the only problem is, I've been forced to use these garrison divisions on the front line because the AI's just been spamming them out when I'm playing as the other country. 
so that's certainly not helping my situation at all. We're about to touch tips between the eastern and the western fronts, which will be nice because once we've done that, we can simply focus on heading north straight towards Moscow and taking out the Soviets for good. Don't be fooled by the giant amount of land that the Greeks control. Other than the initial invasion, they really haven't done much. It's been all me and mostly the French, I guess, too. Moscow's finally in Allied hands. So what that means now is we get to walk across the vast Soviet wilderness, taking towns that are only worth one victory point, and waiting and waiting for the war to end. And it will never end because the Soviets have way too many cities and one victory point is never enough. Oh my god, thank god. It's 1947, and we've just now gotten the Soviet Union done, and we still have to go all the way to China, and then Japan after that. This is the fucking game that will break me. The one that just will never end. Alright, here we go, on the way to China. All the way across Siberia. Can't wait to spend another five hours doing this. And of course, the best part is always the Allied troop spam, which leaves you with no supplies, and no organization, and so you can't actually do anything because you can't attack anyone. So I'm gonna do a naval invasion to open up another front in the south to go alongside the one that the AI has already done because they seem to be having a little bit of trouble. And of course, I still can't attack anyone up north since there's no supplies. Thankfully, this war is actually going a bit easier than the Soviet war. The Chinese troops are not as good, and really, there aren't even as many. So we've had a bit easier time advancing compared to the last couple wars. You know, it kind of pisses me off that the Manchu Republic gets all this land that we're taking, considering they got us here in the first place, when, really, we had no business being here. Here you can see this brilliant French division that decided to go around Bangkok, instead of taking the city, and then getting themselves surrounded. This is the help that I'm getting here, folks. And we got the Siamese to surrender, and all of their land went to the Soviets, because that makes sense. All right, the Chinese are done. At least one of them. The communists are still around, so we'll have to take care of them. And the communist Chinese actually really have almost no troops left. I guess they all died defending the other Chinese. And so we can pretty much just walk all the way to their cities without actually encountering much resistance at all. The Germans are getting a bit ahead of themselves on the invasion of Japan, but they're going about it all wrong. See, they're supposed to land next to a port, not five tiles away from any port. So they're all going to die. All right, let's show the Germans how it's done. Land next to the port, and then immediately go take the port. And then we'll be good. Alright, this is not going how I thought it would go. Really should have waited for my second army to be ready. Uh, just kind of hold here, and we'll pray that the Japanese don't attack us while we wait. Alright, they're here! Quickly, take the port! Before y'all die! Oh, for fuck's sake, they're attacking me! I can't take the port! Alright, fended off their attack, took the port. Still in precarious situation, supplies are not great but they're not bad. We're gonna need some help, though. How the fuck did South Africa sneak into Nagasaki? Whenever I've tried to invade it, there's always like a hundred Japanese divisions guarding it. Whatever, let's send another army in there. With another front in the south active, we've managed to surround the Japanese. All is going well in the south. We are defending in the middle, and the British have now landed up north. So this could be the beginning of the end. And there's a nuke on Nagoya. You guys better be careful with those. We're not that far away from the city, you know. Jesus. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? You barely even gave them a chance to see if they wanted to surrender after the first one. Yo, chill. I don't know which one of your AI countries is doing this, but I think you've made your point by now. And we are about to enter Tokyo. This should be the last action of the entire war. Here we go. That should do it. And there it is. Japanese Shogun it now is done. We got the peace deal. Let's see what we can take. Hey, Spain, you remember the Spanish Netherlands? It's time for some payback, bitches. Well, it was a hard-fought war. We lost many good men. But in the end, the Belgium and the Netherlands, I said the Belgium, that is correct, both ended up getting a decent amount of land. And overall, it was a successful tag team. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.